I'm gonna prove my point so hard, YouTube may flag this video for abuse. Oh my God. This is what happens when you combine this popular home automation system with this powerful note-taking app. I built five automations that will mollywop your mind, and the fifth automation unlocks superpowers for your smart home. You're gonna learn today. This automation introduces the first stage of awesomeness. But to understand the significance, you need to know the problem that it solves. If you haven't heard of Obsidian, it's a simple note-taking app that can take any folder on your computer and transform it into a library you can search and organize. You can embed websites, take voice recordings, and link to other notes. And it even shows you a graph of your notes and how they're interconnected, allowing you to basically follow with trains of thought. This is genius. Additionally by installing plugins, you can add even more functionality like adding calendars, create databases and Kanban boards. The list is endless. And because it works using folders on your computer, this app is considered local, meaning it does not require a cloud to store your data. No cloud means no sharing. Now this is great if you're concerned about privacy, but this sucks if you want to access your files from other locations. You write a note on your phone, it's staying there. You write a note on your computer, it's staying there. Never the twain shall meet. So where does this leave Home Assistant? I mentioned that I was able to combine the two together, but how is this possible if Obsidian is so isolated? Remember how you can install plugins into Obsidian? Well, your boy spent two weeks building his own plugin. When you make a change to a note in Obsidian, it sends internal events that the plugins can listen to. Among other things, my plugin listens to a few of these events and sends them all the way to my smart home. Now, this is how I unlock this first automation. In our family, we have squad meetings where we discuss our observations from previous weeks, set goals for the new week, note down appointments, and review the finances. I create a new document each time to keep records of what we discuss and to track next steps. My plugin listens to events when documents are created and modified and sends them over to Node-RED, which will then emit a custom Obsidian event inside home assistant this by itself is technically awesome because you can now create automations based off of events in obsidian the same way you can create automations based off of events like door openings or your power spikes or when the temperature in your house drops well what would your smart home do with these useless notes it's not like it could read or do anything useful with it could it a few weeks ago i showed you how the world of text can give you insane superpowers. I was able to do several days worth of work in under an hour. And part of the process was the ability to create voice recordings and transcribe them into text all from my smart home. But the downside to it was that the automation required a paid subscription to ChatGPT subscribe feature. Not anymore. No, not anymore, not today. Using Obsidian, I can record directly into my notes and the audio file stays 100% local. And and with the help of my productivity plugin, I can send my audio file to be transcribed on my mini PC using a module called Whisper. Now, I already created a video on how to set that up. This process takes only seconds and the text magically appears back in my notes. Now, I'm gonna be honest, technically, my system is being pretty fancy. I already have Node-RED, my financial app, Olama, and a custom API server running on this mini PC. So it was more convenient for me to reuse it to run Whisper. If I wanted to simplify this, I could set up Whisper on the same computer Obsidian is running on and tell the plugin to use that local transcription module on that computer. Do you see how this can impact you? Let me help you out real quick. Imagine this, being at a white collar job where you do most of your work around a computer. You have meetings online or in an office, and instead of having to manually write down notes, you can be fully present or not and record your meetings within Obsidian. You can transcribe the audio locally and have a written version of the meeting, which can then be summarized and you can refer back to it when needed. And technically, you don't even need to summarize it yourself. You can let AI do it for you. 
locally. Here's a bonus automation combo move that will leave your coworkers dazed and confused. Remember in the first automation when I showed you that Node Red can fire events within Home Assistant? Remember that? Yeah. Node Red can use the same events to trigger custom actions without Home Assistant. The moment you transcribe the audio, it will then trigger an event in Node Red that it can see, which would then trigger another automation where it uses Olama, for instance, to summarize the meeting notes. Since everything is sitting on the same computer, Node Red could store the summary in Obsidian's folder. You could do all of this with your Wi Fi off, and it would still work. That's the power of local, baby. Now, I gave you two different automations and a bonus third. Do you see that subscribe button? I need you to lick it and click it. Number three, or maybe four. Let's just call it four. Probably you've seen tools like this. They've been popping up in various applications and websites, and I call these like AI writing assistants. They can see what you are writing and they can rewrite your text based off of their predefined algorithm or based on prompts that you give it. It's really nice being able to quickly search topics in line, research answers, or simply paraphrase my thoughts. For example, if I'm writing a design doc for work or writing notes about the Bible, it makes the process so much faster. So as a challenge, I added this Ask K feature into my productivity plugin. I can select the text that I want K to focus on and then ask questions around it. Or I can let K watch the entire document and provide helpful insights. If I want to accept its suggestion, then I can click insert and just like that, I 10X my productivity. This is insanely useful, especially if you do a lot of writing for work or school. I don't know how familiar you are with how big tech works, but the higher up the ladder you go, the more writing you have to do. Between one pages, design docs, and other technical documents, you're only as effective as your writing. But big tech is very skittish around foreign tech. This means that you can't use tools like GPT or other apps that collect information. But a local solution like this, where everything stays local, makes it possible to output more with less effort. Cool story, bro, but this has nothing to do with smart homes. You keep going on about AI and Obsidian and Node Red. Where's the smart home automations, huh? You're not ready for it. You're not. You're not. You also didn't subscribe. Everything I just mentioned are building blocks. Individually, they solve some distinct problem, but these skills are stackable. I even gave you a hint about automation stacking when I showed you that combo from earlier. Man, man, M-A-N. Look, I've always been met with skepticism for a lot of my ideas, but my mama told me that I'm just ahead of my time. Call me the doctor, cause I'm gonna show you the future and it's gonna ruin your reality. Hello, I'm the doctor. Do you see this young man here? Hmm? Do you see him? Look how happy he looks. Look how vibrant he is. That's the look of a man who discovered an aspect of AI that can change the way you interact with your smart home forever. Nay, nay, this may change the way your wife and family interact with your smart home forever. I proposed that AI could control your smart home. And as a proof of concept, I gave AI instructions on how to keep the floors clean. And it worked. Of course, there were some problems and expensive lessons learned, but no one said living in the future was cheap or easy. Now, people didn't get it. They didn't get it. They said it would be easy to use YAML or to hard code it and just do it the normal way. And you see that? You see that right there? That was the point. Yeah, missed it. This opens up a new and easy way for people to create automations. You may like writing out your automations, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise your family does not. This robot vacuum automation demonstrates that you could use natural language to describe what you want and AI could orchestrate all the actions for you. Obsidian makes this point painfully obvious. No, no, no. I'm gonna prove my point so hard, YouTube may flag this video for abuse. Hold on. like writing out your automations, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise your family does not. You okay? Okay. Hmm. With me? Your job is to turn off this light or just turn off the lights in the office. Just type out what you think to turn this off. Make it, just keep it super simple. All right, that's what you think, yeah? Yes. Cool, select it, just highlight it with the Hover over this button right here. All right, just click it. On a scale of one to five, how easy was that? Oh my God. 
Why are we asking? What's five? Super easy, like mind dead simple. Five. Sweet. You're excused. Thank you. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A five. That's how simple it was. A five. Perfect score. A five. You don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. This is where I see the future. You can use natural language and AI becomes the code that runs it. It hides all the hard stuff and makes it easy to automate the boring stuff. You're only crazy until you're right. I gave you a high level idea of how I built all of this and you're free to build it for yourself and I strongly encourage it. That said, you probably won't. You have other stuff to do. And here's the bad news. You're not gonna find this plugin in the community store. I built this over two weekends and I don't think it's good enough. Additionally, the plugin means nothing if you don't have Node-RED or Home Assistant or a custom local server. You need at least one of those in order for any of the stuff to work. And I can't provide long-term support for this. Remember, this is a proof of concept. That was the bad news, here's the good news. This is the lab, a secret space in the tech enthusiast community that is invite only. This is where my more eccentric and volatile experiments live. And for the next two weeks, the link below will give you access to the lab where you can not only download the custom Obsidian plugin, but you'll also be able to download the Node-RED automations that powers this experience. And I know, I know, I know. Sometimes YouTube can be slow with surfacing my videos to the right people. And let's say you are one of those people who's finding me after this two week period. The same link below will invite you to the back room of the tech enthusiast community. There, by signing up and joining this room, you will get alerted whenever new videos drop, in-app notifications, emails, mobile notifications. So technically you would have no excuse. You can never miss another of my video because YouTube was slacking. Damn, I feel like I gave away a lot of my best stuff and I still have more to give. Did you click that subscribe button yet? Here's a double bonus for you. I put out a poll asking for automation ideas around Obsidian. And here are some of the ideas. Nathan, a tech enthusiast community founding member, unknowingly gave the idea of logging home assistance automation activities to enable device auditing. Now, the whole goal of this is to help you learn how reliable or unreliable your devices are within your smart home, which can be pretty useful if you're using, let's say, the Bayesian sensor. This viewer here wants to have home assistant write documentation for all the automations and scripts that's in the system. And in here, Jeff from Slacker Labs and a tech enthusiast community member had a lot of great ideas, but at the core, what I liked is that he wanted to be able to surface data from Obsidian's vaults based off of some type of trigger. All of these ideas are pretty amazing, but there's one huge problem though. The thing that makes Obsidian so secure is the thing that makes this difficult to pull off, especially if your smart home is distributed or made up of different pieces in different locations. This will make more sense when I compare it against how Notion works. When you use Notion, it's on a client like a phone, right here, right? Or a computer. The data is stored on the cloud, which makes it possible for you to work on one device like your phone and then pick up where you left off on a different device, i.e. your computer. When I first did the World of Text video, I chose Notion because I knew that the cloud would make it easy for my automations to read and write to my Notion notes. Like I mentioned earlier, no cloud, no sharing. This means that unless Node-RED or Home Assistant is sitting on the same exact computer as Obsidian, it won't be able to read and write data unless Obsidian reaches out first. This is why I had to create the custom plugin. It allows Obsidian to reach out to my smart home, but here's the subtle nuance of the problem. All of these automations require that Home Assistant reach out to Obsidian instead of Obsidian reaching out to Home Assistant. Let's take Jeff's example. I'm embellishing here, but stay with me. Imagine walking into your kitchen and opening up the fridge. As you do, Home Assistant reaches out to Obsidian to grab notes from the recipe folder from your great-great-grandmother's secret stash, all in anticipation for you, but it can't. There's nothing to call. There's no cloud API to query. So sad. All of the automations that require Home Assistant to make the first move won't work because Obsidian is local. But there is a way around this. And here's a hint. You're going to need two Node-RED servers. Remember, if you want access to the experimental plugin, check the link in the description to get access to the lab. 
But don't worry if you missed a two-week window. Head to the back room for exclusive content and alerts on new videos.